Every major city has iconic buildings that reflect their status on the world stage. Twickenham is a symbol not only of a city, but of a nation, and is the largest dedicated rugby venue in the world. It falls to a small but committed team of workers to set the perfect stage for the players and put on the ultimate show for the fans. I'm in charge of the allocation and distribution of the tickets for Twickenham Stadium. We've got three home matches, so in excess of 240,000 tickets have to be delivered safely. Everything's checked twice, everything's counted before it goes in an envelope. So it's quite laborious, but very important. On a match day, I like to watch the first kick, watch the poor guy catch it, and then the players hit him. And when they've all gone away, I'm watching the ground to see if there's any divots. And then I know how well the pitch is going to play. The better the pitch, the better the game. The players like to feel traction beneath their feet. They don't want to be slipping all over the place. It's all right having it green and looking nice, but it's got to be able to perform to the level that we want it to. Three of us look after everything, brushing or cutting the car parts or up trees, but our main job and our pride and joy is the pitch that you see. The two lads usually cut the pitch in a couple of hours. They've cut it this morning and we'll cut it again all week, perhaps twice a day if the weather allows, to iron a patterning. 25 million people will see my pitch on Saturday. I don't want them to say, blimey, that looks nice. They don't say it to me, but I know they're saying it. 